Good morning, Patrick Kelleher from elderlawcare.com. Folks, today's question is, what is palliative care and who is legally able to admit a loved one to palliative care? Folks, you may know me as Patrick Kelleher, the author of How to Avoid the Four-Headed Monster of Estate Planning and Elder Law. You can certainly pick up a copy of this book on Amazon or simply go to elderlawcare.com and pick up a copy of your book because I will teach you in that book, folks, how you can slay the metaphorical four-headed beast of estate planning and elder law. Folks, today's question is, what is palliative care? Well, folks, palliative care, when it comes to mind, oftentimes you hear of palliative care, think of hospice care, hospice care, or palliative care is a newer terminology in the health elder law industry where palliative care is making things more comfortable for an aging person who may have a chronic disease, a prolonged end of life disease or illness. And palliative care is all about making that individual, that loved one more comfortable. And so palliative care can be held in settings either in a hospital setting or even at home in some occasions as well. And you typically need a referral from your doctor to arrange for palliative care. And the person who has to usually step into the shoes of the declining loved one is usually a healthcare agent. So it's really, really important folks to have the proper healthcare proxy, or in some states they refer to it as a healthcare power of attorney. And this is something you don't wanna wait until the fourth quarter of life or the two minute warning to put together, because then you may find yourself or your loved one going off to the local probate court, petitioning for a formal guardianship. And guardianship is a more formal proceeding and can be expensive, time consuming, and stressful for the family. So it'd be really, really helpful. And I created another video on this on the big six disability planning. And part of the big six disability planning is creating that healthcare proxy, that HIPAA authorization also to get access to medical records. But really, really important that you create with your elder law attorney a comprehensive healthcare proxy or healthcare power of attorney where your agent has legal authority to step into your shoes during a time of incapacity where they can make your medical decisions for you. They can step into your shoes as your medical surrogate and make the decisions that you would have made if you were able to do so yourself. Really, really important. So a healthcare agent is the key here to have that legal document in place, maybe third quarter of life, early fourth quarter. Certainly do not do not wait until the late fourth quarter of life. And palliative care also, folks, typically is covered under the hospice system, and hospice is typically paid for by Medicare. Medicare, not to be confused with Medicaid, and Medicare would typically pay for hospice or palliative care up to six months, so long as it is certified by a medical doctor. Folks, if you found this video helpful, please scroll down, post a comment or a question, and a member of an Elder Law Care team will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for joining us today at elderlawcare.com.